Hi folks, Irish Trekkie back in Elite Dangerous. Thank you very much for joining me today. Um, we're having a little bit of a ship profile of the Imperial Clipper. So uh, yeah, let's see what the ship is all about. We have a very unique profile sitting down there in the little holographic pad. Hopefully we'll see a bit more of that in the uh, outfitting section of the station. But to give you a bit of background from the storefront, um, and excuse the pronunciation, but uh, the Imperial Clipper the Gutemaya Imperial Clipper is the quintessential Imperial ship. It epitomizes elegance of form while delivering speed and agility. Because of its balance of speed, luxury and strength, it is used for transporting valuable items and personnel of importance across the Empire. So this is kind of of the same, you know, probably some similar utility to the Orca. But um, yeah, that maybe you know this is might be a good kind of transition ship from that as well because this is cheaper. It's almost half the price. Uh, no, it actually would be half the price of it. But uh, we have a really kind of radical futuristic design here. Uh, great floor detail and massive actually area back here. Well, that says caution, hot surface back there from what I can look at it. But we do have control paneling. This is definitely set up for an Irish driver. You're on the right side of the cabin. <laughs> we have our co-pilot over here. In a very darkened version of the cockpit. Um, yeah, pretty big. A lot of floor space back here. Don't know why there's so much floor space. You'd kind of want to see kind of like maybe standing consoles like you'd see on like, you know, the deck of the Enterprise or something like that. But um, pretty decent. Nice mood lighting. It's like a disco or like a strip club even <laughs> and we have a strip light in there obviously there's kind of some atmosphere there you can see the kind of lighting the light rays coming down from the ceiling but uh, nice, yeah nice ship huge must be pretty big you know this canopy is massive let's have a look at the outfitting and we see the ship up close and personal ba 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 boom so decent power options, 16.8 out, uh, decent jump range out of the bat, you know, almost 9 light years. Uh, we have a large hard point on the top, large, oh actually no, these are on the kind of engine mounts on the side, so we have two large, two medium, hmm, decent power, and four utility, that's interesting. We have our mood lighting on the outside as well, which is nice. Um, this reminds me, it looks like the front of an airplane, doesn't it? You know, it's kind of got that B... Well, what would that actually kind of remind me of now? Kind of reminds me of like a DC-3. Kind of front canopy. Noah's module, but definitely kind of airline-esque. Looks like it even has wings as well. Um, 64 cargo rack out the back, out the bat. Um, shield generator, 8 as well. 3 empty slots. One type four, two type three, yeah. One other type two empty slot there. You can get pretty good capacity out of here. There's no discovery scanners in this ship anyway. You can see the two cockpit seats in there. Look how big the internals are. We've no decal mounts just like the Orca, but there's that much we can kind of see else. But that's a nice looking ship. Let's take it for a spin. So again, if you want to see this ship maybe in combat, drop me a message there, see if I can make it happen. Can't promise anything, but I'm just curious to see what your thoughts are on the ship. Now she's illuminated with the rays of the station. She's super bright. Interesting kind of center console. Where do I keep my cups? Ship released. Engines engaged. Okay, up we go. Landing gear retracted. She's quiet. Nice field of view. I know we're kind of offset of the ship. Oh, jeez, she's quick. Cool the jets. I like the audio out of her, though. 22 million, that's not too expensive. Well, it is, but like in comparison to the other ships out there. Ooh. I'm liking this ship. This might be a ship for me, maybe. Scan detected. Okay, she's cruising that. What? Did she get to 250? 245, 240, 244 she's cruising at, and she'll boost, 
Yeah, pretty good. Should boost to 370. I like that noise. <laughs> Let's put some power in the engines. Oh, look at our trails. So what would she, what would she cruise at with the full power to engines? Put power to shields as well, just in case. So she'll cruise at almost, would she get to three? I should put on the lights just in case we run into it. <laughs> So she's cruising at over 300. Now she's wide, so I'm not going to try and go through the eye of the needle there. I don't know where my ship lights are coming into play here. Really interesting audio, isn't there? Well, there's my ship lights. Yeah, I can kind of throw her around with kind of ease. I like this ship. She's kind of slow to get up, though. Oh, there's my shadow. Take her in for docking. Docking request granted. I know it is. I've got my Imperial Clipper here. Ooh, nice. That noise is catch me by surprise every time. Easy. Easy. Where are we going? Pad 32. Come on, you slow asp. Asp looks so small from here. <laughs> oh, don't light her. Where are we? 32. We're just down here. Oops, forgot how big the ship is. I like the maneuvering thrusters we can see from up here. Ah, easy. Yeah, I like the ship so far. It's only early days, like, obviously. Ah. Successful. Well, there you Engines go. Disengaged. Well, guys, thank you very, very much. Blinded by the light. Jeez. Hang on. Let's just turn off the lights there. Does that change anything? No, that's a bit too white. Maybe not so. <laughs> Floor is lighting up crazy here. But thanks for joining me on uh, this little run through of the Imperial Clipper. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe for any up and coming videos on the channel. Um, but again, your support is always appreciated. Uh, I've been Irish Trekkie, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take it easy. Bye bye.